Good morning. All right, today's fiber study video is about Icelandic, and apparently these are the oldest, um, purest breed of sheep. Um, the Vikings imported them to Iceland, I guess in the 10th and 11th century or something back then, and uh, it is now illegal to import into Iceland, so they want to keep them disease-free and, and true to the genetics. So, um, it is definitely a primitive, I would say. Um, they're found all over the United States and uh, Canada now. It's okay to export them, just not import them. And, all right, here is my sample sheet. This is the staple that I had. This is the yarn that I spun it into, and this is my swatch. Um, I will say this. They say it's a dual-coated breed, and everything that I read said that in the flocks, if you buy commercial, they use both coats together and just spin it and go. Um, some hand spinners separate the two coats. Now, I did not separate it because I want to know what I'm getting. Um, if I was to buy something that said Icelandic, I want to know what it would be like. It is definitely itchier and scratchier and not next to skin. Um, did I get a yucky sample? Don't know. I didn't split it. So I think the undercoat could be next to skin, but if you're going to spin them together, then it's not going to be next to skin soft. If you're going to separate the two and spin just the undercoat, it possibly could be. But even my undercoat was not next to skin. And so that's why I spun them together. Um, made a cool barber pole type effect in some parts. And like I said, I just spun it and plied it back on itself. And not bad. It is very strong. I did try to break this. When I do my um, samples like right here I tried to break it and I actually had to cut it if you look I normally just pop them apart I mean it's just yarn I'm not superwoman or anything but it's just yarn and this one did not break so the longer staple that is um, in this wool definitely definitely makes it more durable this stuff would be an amazing rug yarn um, I'm not so sure you know scarf wise or anything but if you look at the length of that staple it definitely makes it you know strong <laughs> definitely definitely so I had to cut it um I did my normal soak plied in the, or spun in the S plied in the Z um but I would say definitely if you're going to hand spin I would say separate it because you'd get an awesome rug wool and, and a softer closer to the skin kind of wool um, so you could get dual purpose you know what I mean um, on the other hand if you want it durable that long wool in there is amazing so I have my sheet with my picture description staple length and stuff on it I have my completed spin paper and I have my sample page. So I am now done with my Icelandic. So I will see you back here for next week, next breed. <laughs> um, I was doing one a week, but this is kind of haphazard, so they'll post when they post. See you next time.